Welcome back to Dark Corners Streaming. Black Friday, which you can find on YouTube, is the last and least of the universal horrors to pair Boris Karloff and Bela Lugosi. And it's a film whose behind-the-scenes drama is probably better known than the film itself. English literature professor George Kingsley is left brain damaged after being caught in a gang shooting. His friend, Dr. Ernst Sovak, puts the injured gangster's brain in Kingsley's body. A miraculous recovery, Mrs. Kingsley. With the perfectly logical result that Kingsley makes a full recovery, but occasionally turns into gangster Red Cannon, Jekyll and Hyde style. The story is not a million miles from Donovan's brain, written by Kurt Siobmak, only two years after he wrote this, based on a story by Willis Cooper, and dual personalities recur in Siobmak's work. Uh, been with us before, sir? When? No, of course not. Originally, Karloff was to play the professor and Lugosi the doctor, but for reasons we can only guess at, and plenty of people have had their guesses, Karloff preferred the Lugosi role, and Universal always demurred to Karloff. Your spine is broken. You're paralysed. Unfortunately, as no one was buying Bela Lugosi as an English literature professor, that role went to Stanley Ridges. I seem to know her. While Lugosi, though still second build, was downgraded to another gangster, with little screen time. Mr. Ed Cannon now belongs to the history of crime. None of it shared with Karloff. What's the matter? Aren't we welcome? Ridges is actually very effective in what is really the lead role, convincing both as Professor... Thou who breakest glass will find fate can be almost unkind. ...and gangster. And the most likely suggestion for why Karloff refused the role is that he had played an American gangster before, in 1932's Excellent Scarface, and... Well, I was on my way here to the garage to keep an appointment. That was late. Yeah. He is perfectly watchable as Dr. Sovak, with a few moments of true Karloffian menace. From now on, you do exactly as I say. But what was great about the Karloff Lugosi pairing was the contrast of Karloff's underplaying and Lugosi's overplaying. Here, the two characters are on a level. But nothing seems to interest me. And it's hard to watch the exchanges between Kingsley and Sovak without thinking about the original casting. You've had your fill of peace and quiet. Truth be told, the better casting might have been Stanley Ridges and Bela Lugosi. You think you're Red Cannon, don't you? But whose body are you wearing? Well, you told me exactly. As a thriller, this is on a par with many contemporary gangster films. As a horror, it really fails. And it's interesting to note that director Arthur Lubin also helmed 1943's The Phantom of the Opera, which similarly dialed back on the terror. Despite some well-constructed montages, there's only one moment in which this honestly feels like universal horror. It's a siren, probably an ambulance or a police car. While some of the dialogue strays into the comic. Dad, what is back of all of this? Haven't you guessed? The operation I performed was a brain transplantation. It's fine, but it needs the extra energy that the Karloff Lugosi dynamic would have brought to it. Without that, it's a very flat film. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Karloff and Lugosi made eight films together, including some horror classics. Which is your favourite and why? Let us know in the comments below.